Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasa ala, kohaloi malayi hawabashi miyawashai, baha shemr kaha kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Nahuaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on, hey, when you come into this truth, you got to you gotta go hard body for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. You can't um, let uh, what people say uh, mess with you. You can't. Allow your damn devil to mess with you. <laughs> you got to just keep pushing. You had to keep going. And I wanted to get some on this article right here because this is um, what happens to a lot of Christians. And see, we're not, you know, Christians in the in the white Jesus sense. We are Christians because we are Christ like, you know what I'm saying? Or Mashiach like because we're doing like what our Lord told us to do and we're doing what he done. And through the teachings of the apostles, we're, we're carrying on the torch, so to speak. And Yahweh Shai, he didn't back down from um, Pharisees, Sadducees, any of those sects that was coming up against him. He was like, hey, I'm here to do my father's will. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through what I'm supposed to go through. I'm going to suffer for it. And that's that. And that's the type of attitude and mentality we should have. Now, how I came, you know, I seen this, this particular article with uh, Tony Dungy, right? And this is, you know, these, these, you know, they, they, the alphabet crew on his ass for his so-called Christian values, right? Okay, it says, Tony Dungy shows his true values with hateful tweet that puts transgender kids at risk. Opinion, right? And let's just get some of it, man. It, it, it's on and on. And, and this is one of the things they, they pushed at the WEF. Or the World Economic Forum, if you watched any of it, one of the main things they, they pushed was um, hate speech. So for you to have an opinion, it's going to be hate speech, supposedly here in the U.S. from what they're saying. Because it's already hate speech over in Europe and certain places. But for you to have an opinion to say, hey, no, I don't like that. I don't like your lifestyle. That's going to be considered hate speech. And, you know, whatever laws they come up with is going to be what it is. It could be fines. It could be jail time. You never know what these people. OK, but it says in a new poll released Thursday, 45 percent of transgender and non-binary youth said they had been cyberbullied, harassed online because of increased anti LGBTQ rhetoric and policies. While 24 percent said they'd been bullied at school, nearly 30 percent said they don't feel safe going to a doctor if they're sick or injured. OK, I don't know, you know, these statistics, man. Now, consider that more than half of transgender and non-binary youth seriously consider suicide. Yeah, I've done that lesson yesterday on the 988 number. You know, they have a new suicide prevention number, 988. They're trying to get people to remember it like 911. You know, it used to be a, a whole full 800 number, um, but now they just shorten it down to three numbers. So people can call and supposedly in six within these past six months the data that they've so-called pulled on that is like two over two million people done called already you know you can text you can chat and all this other stuff but it's people that's going through it and they kind of mention the a b c d e f g hookup too so right it says um it says uh 86 percent new morning consult poll said their mental health has been negatively affected by state laws restricting transgender rights. Hey, I, I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. It's, it's, it's all kinds of people going through all kinds of stuff. But it seems like these are the only people that's getting all the attention as to what they're going through. Nobody else is, 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 is being fucked around. Nobody else is being picked on. Nobody else is being, you know, that has a problem. You know, it just seems like it's just them. Right. OK, it says um, it's these kids, these already vulnerable and in peril kids. Why are they vulnerable and in peril? Come on, man. Who Tony Dungy chose to pile on using his large national platform, who Dungy put further in harm's way 
with his bigotry and ignorance under the guise of Christian faith. That's the reason why I wanted to do this lesson, because see, these 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 Christians that believe in white Jesus and, 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 and if they have a little bit of money. If it's a possibility of them losing stuff, they're going to they're going to just give in. They're going to give in. It's that simple. They're not going to fight all the way to the end. You got a few of them that's out here. You know, they kind of act as if they'll go through it. But trust me, when, when it comes down to losing everything, they're going to give in. And that's what, you know, this truth comes down to. You, you, you should have the mindset of, hey, if I lose it, I lose it. It's a wrap, you know, because man's going to the Lord, of course. <laughs> and. If the Lord wants you to have something, you're going to have it. If he doesn't want you to have it, you're not going to have it. It's the Lord that 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 wounds and makes alive and heals and make rich and bring people down and set up kings and, you know, um, bring down kings. The Lord is in control of all things. So if you're not going to trust in the Lord and you trusting in man, like, God, oh, let me back off. Let me apologize. You know, I didn't mean that. You know what I'm saying? You're not sticking up for the so-called Christian values because we've seen it happen over and over again. And it's been from a lot of levels, you know what I'm saying, where people, when it comes to the so-called white man telling you what you can do, think what you can, where you can go and how you're supposed to word stuff. You already see the results of um, what's been going on with freedom of speech in this place. It hasn't been working out well, right? But as you know, when it comes to Christians, so you're supposed to be able to be like, hey, look, man, I'm trusting in the Lord. Fuck that. I said what I said. And that's that. OK, it says in a sense, deleted tweet. See, he deleted the tweet. The Hall of Fame coach, who is now an NBC sports analysis, ridiculed Minnesota's efforts to treat its most at risk students with compassion and care by sharing a debunked and wholly nonsensical, sensical claim that school some schools are providing litter boxes because students are identifying as cats that's true what the fuck do you mean why, why didn't he just research that matter of fact you, you know what let's 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 just let's copy and let's copy and paste this into the, the uh google then let's see let's see what's up this is true this is this is going on i'm not sure if it's going on here in the americas but it is going on in some schools. And, you know, generally, most of the shit that come from the WEF, you know, from overseas, the, the, those so-called Europeans, that shit makes it right here. It makes it right here. You got these kids running around out here, don't know what the fuck going on. And, 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 and they, they, they in marches and shit, you know, fighting for. No, what they need to be fighting for is, is their parents being able to continue on having a roof over their head. And they fighting for this type of shit. You see? But let's let's put this in real quick. Let's see what comes up. And they said, how an urban myth. This was October. It says, um, Nebraska lawmaker apologized for debunked litter box claim. Okay, they have this in Michigan. Print a darker agenda. Let me see here. Okay, so this is um matter of fact, this is because I know this is America. I I, I know that wasn't Amer it wasn't a an American story. Because I've done a lesson on it. I've done a lesson on um. It was two two separate stories where they're allowing the, they had one little girl where they wasn't allowed. You know, she was allowed to not speak. She don't she doesn't have to talk because she's she's considered to be a cat. She just meows and shit. So, you know. um. Let's see here. Let me. Because, you know, Google will get down on you. See. No American schools. You know what? Let's try uh so like you bear with me real quick here. Okay, see so here's one right here. It says private school supports young girl who identifies as a cat and does not speak. 
See, I had done a lesson on this one. And, and this is, this is, this is, you know, this is news. Phenomenally bright teenage girl identifies as a cat and shows feline behaviors. You see? So this may be where he, he was kind of going. Because, you know, someone like Tony Dungy, he seems to be okay. Eh, you know, he might be into a little more intellectual stuff. And um, into, you know, like um, world news. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these people here in America, man, they so damn dumb and so damn dumbed down. They don't look at anything except for your regular two, four, six, seven, ten. You know, your local everybody reading the same shit off a teleprompter. They're not looking at world news. And there's there's stories about because, like I said, again, this was um, UK, if I'm not mistaken. I remember doing a lesson on it. But anyway. It says teen girl identifies as cat allowed to act like a feline in school. And they was providing um, litter boxes, if I'm not mistaken, you know, because this is, you know, you're living in a world where a person can identify as whatever they want to identify as. So when he said this, this is this is an actual true story. You see what I'm saying? Now, he might have said it in a broad aspect of, you know, it's too much shit really going on with these children. These children are not being educated. They're 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 being allowed to just just be internet um robot robotic freak, so to speak. <laughs> shit. For lack of better terms, but he actually um deleted what he what he put down though. Let's let's get let's see what else they got. It says Dungey is a smart man. The son of educators and, and a graduate of the University of Minnesota. Oh, of course. So that, that would mean that he will watch more news other than this U.S. shit. You see, it says he should have known right away there was no truth to that tinfoil hat litter box story. Even if he wasn't sure, determining it was true would have taken him all of 30 seconds if he just searched a reputable news source. Instead, Dungey parroted the hate being used by right-wing extremists and opportunists, politicians to gin up or outrage and ideally votes, not caring that his tweet to his nearly one million followers was putting trans kids in the crosshairs. When he did take it down, he did not. He did so without offering an explanation or acknowledgement of why it was wrong or the harm he'd caused. Well, we already know why he took it down. He probably, you know, got that... Like, oh, shit, we living in that world where you can't talk. Let me take this shit down real quick because they'll cancel me and I won't have a job. You know, they'll come in. You know, they'll can't. You know, I won't have a home You know, to start dipping into my bank account. I can never get another job. You know, this is how people think, because this this is how see the so-called white man. He, he uses mammon. That's why the scripture says you cannot serve God and mammon, man. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. And I'm just going to go into some scriptures from here because we don't have to really. um go any further because the, the, the point that I wanted to make was what what are you going to stand on? You're going to stand on the word, you know, and that's going to come down to a lot of people that's going to fall for this MOTB, that that um, that potato chip they want to put in the people, man, because people are not going to um, they're, they're going to believe in this man. They're going to believe in his and in, in what he says and, and that you can't get along or you can't process in this in this universe unless you go through me. This is the big bully, man. This is what's going to happen. This is Matthew 6 and 24. It says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. So his Christian faith, <laughs> he chose mammon over, over, over the Lord. Because that should have been something that he should have been able to stick with. But... You know, when you take these jobs, especially on a higher level of pay like that, and this even shit, even amongst, um, you, you could be working at a, a fucking Taco Bell and these people want you to give up your life to them. Sign over all your, your, your rights and images. It, it, it's, it, it's almost like you sign on a damn record deal. They take over your likes, your images, your, your, your personality and everything. And you, you know, you belong to them. That's with any job that, that, that's being worked, you know, pretty much overall in America. And you know it goes up to a higher scale when they're making the six-figure money that this guy is making, right? But you have to be able to say, you know what? Enough is enough. You see how they shut down Kyrie, right? 
Kyrie was like, uh uh, I don't have nothing to do with those Hebrew Israelites. I'm gonna show you by giving um this money to these Muslims. <laughs> hey, they shut his ass right down when he got the um, you know, acting as if he was a Hebrew Israelite, so to speak, and he didn't go no further with it. Once they started cutting off into, you know, telling him that hey, he couldn't play no more, you gotta go through this, uh, you gotta pay this, you know, we we need to take you to the, the, the Holocaust Museum and all that shit, they shut his ass up. They done the same thing with Kanye and a whole bunch of other people. A whole host of people. So when you come into this truth, you just better know that, hey, there's a possibility that you could lose it all. But you have to know that it's the Lord created all things, even the money that these motherfuckers is claiming as theirs. You see, it's nothing for the Lord to make a poor man rich or, or a rich man poor. Matter of fact, let's um, let me see this Matthew 10. Yeah, man, you got to be able to go all out for the Lord, man. It's going to be worth it. You know, we're going to go through some hardships. Shit, you might be living out of your backpack. But, you know, we, it's going to be worth it, man. And I pray to you, how about Shimei Wasai? If something like that was to happen, I'm able to do it, man. I'm able to rock. Because we can say whatever, you know what I'm saying, as long as we got a, a roof over our head, you know, or even a car to sleep in. You, what, you got a roof over your head and you got food in the refrigerator, food in the pantry. Oh, everything is all good. We can say whatever we want to say. So that's the reason why we should be praying to Yahweh on a regular basis. Yahweh, please give me... Um, the, uh, you know what it takes to, to do this thing Give me what it takes to endure You know hardships um, Afflictions Because the scripture talks about When you come into this thing You're going to have afflictions Matter of fact Let's get that in James James 1 and 1 Well 1 and 2 It says my brethren Count it all joy When ye fall into diverse temptations Knowing this That the trying of your faith Worketh patience so it's going to be, and it's also um, in um, the Apocrypha as well. I'm trying to think if that's Ecclesiasticus 2 and 1. Salaki, so let me see something real quick. Yeah, this Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. See? Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at the last end. So, you know, things like this may come up. Things like this may come up. You know, you might be out on the highways and byways and, 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 and one day um, um, one of your, your fellow employees ride by. They never knew that you was out there doing that um, this street um, preaching or, or, or into this truth. And they hear you talking about the so-called white man is, is is going into slavery and he's going to pay for the things that he's done and this that and the third or if they see you with them fringes on because a lot of these hey there's a lot of people that know about the hebrew israelites so-called whites blacks chinese japanese because this truth is going out throughout the earth so there could come a point where there's a you may have to go through a, a, a something until it comes to that full end but when it comes to that full end it's going to build it's going to build you up, so to speak, right? Okay. Let's go back to, um, I had a couple precepts. I'm just flowing in the spirit, though. I seen that, and I'm like, man, hey, I pray to Yahweh about Shemi Abishai that I'm able to stand firm when it comes down to this truth, man. Uh, yeah, that's good right here. Matthew 10, and let me start at verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. So a person like Tony Junji that'll delete something like that, and he's not going to confess the Father before. Um, you think this guy, if he had an opportunity, you know, I'm not saying that his job, of course, you know, on, on, on air where he's speaking to millions of people, to millions of fans on a Sunday football um, day or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about like, say for instance, you know, he's not going to go out on no highways and byways. We do know that. <laughs> but if he had an opportunity to be at, you know, he, he's invited a few people over, even, <laughs> even from his Christian church. If he invited 20 people from the Christian church over to his house and, and, and got to talking about things like these particular subjects, the Christian, most, most Christians will be against him. Oh, nah, man, you're right. The Lord, he loves everybody. 
he loves them. The Lord created them and and he loves them and 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 they, they say by grace. And that's hate, man, that you're talking about. <laughs> okay, but anyway, Matthew 10 and 32 again. It says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. See that? Because the Lord said, Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. See that? And it says, um, verse 35 right here. It reads, think not. Um, it says, for I am come to set a man at variance against his father and, and the daughter against her mother and the, and the, against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. See? And a man's foes shall be they of his his own household so if the lord is telling you that your foes will be those of your own household what do you think about people that's just out in you know general regular public you're gonna have to be able to stand man you see you're gonna have to be able to stand on that and um you know you can get that account in luke let's see um let's get this um john yeah man this it is truth it rattles um bones man this truth cuts to the bone. And people don't really want to hear the real truth. They like that that butter me up um stuff, man. They want to hear those smooth words. The scripture talks about that. They 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 want us to hear smooth words. They don't want to hear, you know, um repent, man, and, and turn from your wicked ass ways. Uh Oh, uh, yeah, John 7 and 43. So there was division among people because of him. So when it comes to Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, there's division. There's going to always be division. There's going to always be some people that's going to be for it, and, and those are going to be the elect of Israel. And, and, and those people that, that are not wicked ass Sadducees or Pharisees or just um, wicked ass other heathens, the Gentile nations, they're going to always go against you if you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that's something to be expected. And you should be ready to rock, man. Let's see what else we got. Um Revelations 2 and 10. This is Revelation 2 and 10 right here. And it reads: Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So somebody like Tony Dudgy, that's, he's quick to just erase a damn tweet because he didn't hurt a few feelings. You know, this is not this scripture is not going to uh, work for him. You see? It's not going to work for him. It says, be, be thou faithful unto death. You ain't even got nothing going on. Nobody throwing no rocks at you. <laughs> Nobody is nothing going on with you other than you hearing a couple of voices about a tweet. And, and you just delete your shit because, you know, you, we already know what it is, man. Okay, let's get this Matthew 24 and 9. It is Matthew 24 and 9. And it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So there's going to come a point, man, where, you know, hey, whatever our lot is, man, when some of us may be killed, martyred, heads cut off, uh, murdered. I mean, because hey, these people really hate us because of Yahweh Shai, man. But think about what he went through. And you have to think about the reward. That's that's what's on, on my mind. The reward, man. Of what was to what's to come. The, the reward because, you know, to basically die and leave this this host as far as a body is to be present with the Lord, man. You're going to be present with the Lord and you're going to be one of the, the very first ones to be, you know, to be awakened, so to speak, man. Let's get this last precept, though. Acts chapter 14 and 4. 
144. It says, but the multitude of the city was divided in part, in part held with the Jews and part with the apostles. So there's going to be a division always. When, when the apostles was on, on the earth, man, it was, you know, hey, it, 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 hey, they was doing them dirty, man. Just like they done all the prophets. All the prophets that ever came through on behalf of Yahweh. And speaking to the, the, the Israelites, man, to try and get them to come back. Man, they was killing the, the, the prophets, man. They didn't want to hear what the Lord had to say. So people hearing you talking about Yahweh Shai, you know, they don't even want to hear about white Jesus. White Jesus used to be the shit. They don't even want to hear about white Jesus. So, you know, they don't want to hear about uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, a so-called black man with woolly hair, a deep voice. And he's only coming for the children of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They don't want to hear that, man. That's going to be hate speech, you know, in a minute. It's, I mean, it's pretty much already is to these people. You know, we're just telling the truth. We're just reading the scriptures. But they look at it as hate speech. They don't want to accept. They'll tell you they're Christians, but they don't want to accept the truth of the, the scriptures. You see? So I just wanted to just touch on that, man. Hey, don't be a damn Tony Dungy out here. You know, we we already know who he believes in. He believes in, in white Jesus. It says, um, not until Thursday night did Dungy apologize in a statement provided to the USA Today Sports by his attorney. NBC Sports NC, he used his attorney because he got he knows what's up. Don't think he don't know that they would blackball and cancel the shit out of his ass. And you go and make an apology about that. You you know, he knows what's up. OK, it says um, NBC Sports asked whether it would address Dungy's transphobic tweet. Did not respond. I saw a tweet yesterday and I responded to it. In the wrong way, Dungy said in his statement, as a Christian, I should speak in love and in ways that are caring and helpful. Well, what do you think love is? Love is keeping the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. If you have love for the people, you're supposed to be telling them, hey, look, man, the Lord, the scriptures, he said that you're going to be destroyed if you're living that lifestyle. You need to repent. And that's that. But no, nope, these Christians, man, they don't, they don't want nothing to do with that, man, because they don't want that smoke. It says, I, um. I failed to do that, and I'm deeply sorry. So here you go. You're apologizing to the very people that you're supposed to be rebuking, man, and reproofing. You see? It says, but this is not the first time Dungy has vilified members of the LGBTQ community. He has a long and very public history of it, and it goes unchecked simply because he is a personable, popular, and has been steadfast in holding the NFL to account for his shameful record on diversity and advocating for coaches of color. Oh, yeah. As an important as his voice is on diversity, it should not. It does not excuse his bigotry. See, they're trying to say that he's a bigot because <laughs> uh, of him saying something about some goddamn kids wanting to be animals, man, or or a damn cat or a dog. Look, people in this country and all over the world are identifying as all kinds of shit, and and, and these people know it. They know it, man. Dungy, like so many other, has used his faith as justification for discrimination against LGB. They're going to keep on coming with that. This program, it says, if you are a Christian, you are supposed to follow the teachings of Christ, not the humans who interpret them. Well, you seem to be a human that's interpreting it. Or the churches that have taken license with, their, with them for their own gain. Christ's own words, and nowhere in the gospel does it say anything about homosexuals or gay marriage. See, there you go. This is obviously a person that doesn't read the scriptures, man. This is actually in the scriptures, you know. Matter of fact, let's go to Romans. And this is just an agenda that these people are pushing. Because when you go into the comments, people are not with this shit. This is just a biased story that somebody overall probably wrote. You know, they're trying to call this man out. And he fell for it, though. That's the whole thing. Romans 1 and 25, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up into vile affections, for even their women did change the, the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one, one, one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And that's what Tony Dungy should have broke out, these scriptures on their asses. You know, but you know, of course, he, he believes in white Jesus, you know, 
let's get this in the NLT over here since they say that this is not in the scriptures. And, and this is the New Testament for those that say, oh, that was the Old Testament before. But this obviously this person don't know the Old Testament or new. Uh, verse 26 again in the NLT, New Living Translation. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. See, the Lord said those are shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. There you go. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserve. Verse 28. Since they thought it, it foolish to acknowledge God, he, he abandoned them to do their foolish thinking and let them do the things that should never be done. So, hey, the Lord is, is letting them jump off, man. He's the one that's letting them get down because they don't want to believe in the Lord. But that's New Testament right there for whoever that person is, man, that's saying that this is not scriptural. And that matter of fact, let's get um the law. You know, we just read that one because, of course, they'll tell you, oh, that was the Old Testament. Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. It is abomination. Leviticus 20 and 13. It goes a little bit further with it. It says, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. See? <laughs> so you can't get around it, man. And that's for the women as well. They might say, oh, well, I see that was saying a man with a man. Hey, look, that goes for the women too. Lord not dealing with that, man. Let's get this one. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Let's get some of what the unrighteous is to Yahweh, right? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. That's the, the, the key word, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Matter of fact, let's go into that. Let's get the NLT on that one. It says, do you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality. See, this is the New Testament, too. There go another New Testament scripture for you. Or are these, which you get the point, is it goes off into these are things and in, in, in that people do that if they're doing them, they're not going to make the kingdom of the of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, it's just that simple. And that's showing love. That's showing love. But what do the Christians do? They back off. That's just like with, um, matter of fact, I don't know. I may not have it in here, but let's see. I've I, I seen so many dumbass uh a b c d this one right here lgbt um babies they got they, they even they got a professor <laughs> oh man i don't even want to read this no more the <laughs> but anyway they got it where the baby's coming right out the womb man they 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 labeling um lgbtq right it, it, it's out of control man let me see what else was it uh something else it's so many of these stories, man. That's pretty much the, what covers the, the, the main part of your uh the news apps. You got this one right here. Welcome to the trans world. All in a day's work. Uh, I think that was pretty much all I had in this particular um, history. Because uh, I was just scrolling and I was just like, man, I can't even take no more. <laughs> can't even take no more, man, because this place is wicked as all hell, man. Because like I said, again, if you just scroll through these, this hookup, all you're going to see is 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 mainly A, B, C, D, E, F, G shit, man. That's pretty much it. See, Anglican head joyful about new LGBTQ rule, but warns of splits. See, this is going on with the, um the I think the Church of England. Where they're 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 basically like we're with it, but we're not gonna allow the marriages to go on in the churches, man. Just a bunch of bullshit, man. Anyway, you see what it is, you get what it is. I don't want to keep this too long. Here you go. You got this one. Caitlyn Jenner says everyone needs to chill over pronouns. Pronouns are an overrated topic. This dude, man. My goodness. Anyway, 
And like I said, as you go on and on and on and on and on, you if I scroll through here long enough, you'll come across maybe about, here you go again, new Russian law bans well-known LGBTQ plus films. So, you know, that's the reason, one of the reasons why they don't like Russia and they, they so hardcore against Russia right now because Russia not going for that shit over there. Uh... Yeah, well, anyway, like I said, we, we've gone long enough. Um, we've seen enough. They got the lawmakers TASB spar over trans memo. Trans people say they're leaving England because of nonstop transphobia. Now, let me tell you who, who got who got all the rights and who don't. The people that have all the rights is A, B, C, D, E, F, G people. And, 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 and the lowest on the totem pole in the entire world, the entire globe, is the so-called black man. <laughs> Straight up. Hands down. Straight up. Straight up. That, that's, that's, that's facts right there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end out. With that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.